feels like forever man <laughs> okay go yes guys another video another pc accessory and by the look of this parcel shape definitely this is another keyboard that i'm going to unbox and do my first impression review in front of you guys so what is the brand of the keyboard that i'm going to show with you guys today if you guys want to know as per usual you guys need to watch this video till the end grab your snacks grab your drinks let's go hello guys welcome back to hate sphere youtube channel my name is fair and you guys are watching tech and trend So guys, as per usual, to those who haven't yet subscribed to Hate Sphere YouTube channel, what are you guys waiting for? Please do consider subscribing to Hate Sphere YouTube channel, especially if you guys are into tech-related content. If you guys are into unboxing series, setup series, or review series, then this is the right channel for you guys. I know it's been like forever since last I did a keyboard unboxing video. The last time I did was the RK61 by Royal Clutch. If you guys haven't watched that video, please go watch it. I leave the cut to the video up here or up here one of these two so yes this is another keyboard definitely looking at it mm, okay let's unbox this okay okay um okay so i saw some of it if you guys can see the brand up there yep Okay guys, so it seems like I have another keyboard by HP. Okay, this time what I have over here is the HP Gaming Keyboard K500Y. If you guys can see at the A camera over there. Yep. This is actually the second HP keyboard that I received. And uh, the first one is the K300. Was a disappointment. And I hope this one... Uh, would give a better impression about HP. I'm just gonna show you guys the box in the B camera over here up close. So that's the box over there, HP K5100Y. Okay, and then there's the graphic of the keyboard over there. Below here, nothing else except for the name of the model of the keyboard. And over here, there are two variants, the black and the white one. What I have over here is the black one. Again, I wish I have the white one, but it seems like I have the reviewing another black keyboard over here and then up here is just some barcodes informations and stuff and what's inside and it also stated over here that it have a supported operating system of windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 it doesn't stated any mac os over here so i assume that this keyboard doesn't have any uh, mac support to it and last but not least the cable length of this keyboard is 1.6 meter pvc cable okay so what this keyboard stated over here it claimed that it have a stylish design with integrated metal panel rust and scratch resistant okay thick keyboard with responsive keys special led backlight highlights its elegant looks and functionality Ooh, interesting humanization design of function keys provide a series of commonly used shortcut function keys okay HP standard one year limited warranty from date of purchase. Okay, so this have one year warranty from HP. Good to know that. It seems like I am expecting a full size keyboard um, with a circle type of um, keycap design. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. So let's check out the keyboard now. That. Ja. Straight away, the keyboard. Of course, it have a product support um, thingy and then you have this product warranty card and then product notice and other notice as well we're not gonna take a look at that at all so we're just gonna put all of this to the side first okay hp plastic wrap over there and zas okay this actually look quite interesting but okay here's how the keyboard looks like from the front as you guys can see in the a camera over there so it's a full-size keyboard and it comes in this circle kind of keycap design i'm not sure what this thing is called uh but yeah it have that and then at the back side of the keyboard is that um leveler thingy adjustment yeah so you can incline it a bit okay at the back panel over here this is definitely 100 percent plastic okay 100 percent plastic but the front panel over here is definitely a metal but not really a high quality kind of metal. I must say it feels a bit 
cheap, quite heavy, I must say, quite heavy. And there's a HP logo over there, which I hope will light up together with the keyboard. And it uses a normal USB cable, but it's not braided. It's just a normal PVC type of USB cable. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's try the typing experience. Oh. Mm. 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 Okay, so based on my first impression of the typing experience, um, this keyboard definitely used some sorts of a uh, chiclet keys. Definitely, it doesn't have any rubber dome inside here. So, this is definitely not a, a membrane keyboard. Definitely not a mechanical keyboard. But it has that sort of like um, vintage kind of keyboard style, you know, like all those type typewriter kind of kind of keyboard. All right, so without wasting any time, I'll be testing this HP K500Y gaming keyboard on my Thunder Snow Gaming PC. I'm going to show to you guys how the lighting looks like and how to work the lightings and stuffs. And after that, I'll be telling you guys my overall first impression review of this HP K500Y. And I also will share with you guys where you guys can get one of these. Let's go! Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I've already plugged this into my um, Thunder Snow Gaming PC. And if you guys can see, the lighting over here is actually quite bright, I must say. Not as bad as the K300. It's actually quite okay. And this is considering that I have a light behind me currently. And this is still look quite presentable, I must say. Uh, let me show you guys how it looks like if I turn off the light. Yep, this definitely looks better with the light turns off. Like, let's say you guys love to play your games in dark or something. This will definitely looks like a gaming keyboard in some sense. Um, so, you have a few key point light over there. There's a yellow one, and then there's the green one, and then there's a white one, and then the purple one, and the red one over here. So, it's quite nice, and it reposes very, very well to the top part of the keyboard over there. And um, for the setting of the keyboard motion, in terms of the lighting, you guys can actually turn down and turn up the brightness of the keyboard by pressing the function keys and the pitch down button. So it will turn down the brightness until it turns fully off like this. Or you guys can turn up all the way. This is the brightest it can get. And if you guys want some motion to it, there are actually like two or three different motion if I'm not mistaken. You guys can press the function keys and press number one. So this is the first motion which is a breathing kind of motion. And then again, press function one and this is something like blinking i'm not sure yeah and then you press again function one it brings back to the static motion so basically there are like three different settings which is static or uh, breathing or this like a uh, blinking kind of effect to it but i'm gonna leave it at static yeah Okay guys, so based on the Shopee page that I have over here, if you guys can see or here, I'm not sure. But yeah, on the screen, if you guys can see. So what is stated over here is the HP K500F or Y. Oh, so the version that I have over here is the K500Y. So what's the difference? Um, okay, so K500F is the one with the square normal design of keycaps. And the one that I have over here is the K500Y, which is a different design of KitKat which is a more like a circular typewriter-ish kind of design. Uh, it also stated over here HP K500F or K500Y membrane USB keyboard wired gaming keyboard with LED backlight okay. It stated over here that this keyboard is actually a membrane keyboard so if I open the keycaps oh oh okay so there is actually a rubber dome inside there so which makes this a uh, membrane keyboard, yes, uh, my bad just now, this is actually a membrane keyboard but it doesn't feel like a membrane keyboard to me. Mm. Only one color, unfortunately, that the link that I have over here which is the black color or the metal color, okay, if based on the box there's actually two uh, choice for you guys to choose which is the black or the white one. Um, not so called like black like this actually more like a gunmetal kind of color the price of this keyboard is let me check rm 43 ringgit and 90 cent yes so which means this keyboard is actually under rm 50 ringgit 
which also means that this keyboard is definitely suitable for all of you budget gamers out there. Yes, 43 ringgit 90 cents. That is around eight to nine US dollars, which is less than ten dollars. Not bad actually, considering the quality of the keyboard, the kind of switches and stuff. 43 ringgit 90 cent or around eight. $1.50 is actually quite a good deal. So what are my final thoughts about this HP Gaming Keyboard K500Y? Okay, okay. so my first impression a um, few hours just now when I unboxed this keyboard is that this definitely uh, looks cheap to be really honest. But as soon as I touch it, I lift the keyboard up. It's actually feel quite hefty and it kind of matches the price that this keyboard have. And also, I don't really consider this as a gaming keyboard at first because of the keycap design. I don't think this kind of like circular keycap design is actually suitable for gaming. It feels a bit uncomfortable, I must say. Maybe because I'm not used to the circular type of um, keyboard. Let's say I give this a good run for like a week or two. Maybe I could actually get used to it. But for first timer like just now I tried, it's actually quite um, confusing and I'm not really used to the keyboard layout. But yeah, uh, for the sake of the aesthetic, this actually look quite nice. If you guys don't consider this as a gaming keyboard. However, when I saw the lighting of this keyboard just now, it definitely looks better with the light, I must say. The light really adds up to the gaming aesthetic of this uh, K500Y keyboard. And I think HP have redeemed themselves to me. Okay, this is because I only have two HP products currently. This one and also the old K300 keyboard. If you guys haven't watched that video, watch it up here now. Based on that keyboard, I was so disappointed because of the keyboard actually have a good gaming aesthetic to it. It looks like a proper mechanical keyboard even though it's not. But the lighting was sucks balls. Okay, I can't really see anything especially on the escape, the function keys part over here. But with this K500Y, the lighting is actually really good. It also comes with a two different motions if you guys want to have different feeling to your keyboard so i guess that adds up to the plus point on this hp gaming keyboard k500y by the end of the day it really depends on you guys if you guys are among the budget gamers and you guys like this kind of like um, circular design of keycaps you guys don't want your keyboard to look like a normal gaming keyboard i know there are so many gaming keyboards in the world nowadays and all of them are using the same style of keycaps maybe you guys want something different then this gaming keyboard hp k500y could be one of the option for you guys so guys that's about it for this episode of tech and trend what do you guys think about this hp k500y if you guys have any thoughts or opinion please do leave it in the comment section down below and also i have one thing that i want to tell you guys regarding the hey it's free giveaway 2.0 that i've announced a few months back i am really sorry the giveaway need to be postponed for a while because currently in malaysia the situation is really really bad and everything is really messed up with all this pandemic thingy so the sponsors of that giveaway told me to tell you guys that the giveaway will be back very very soon uh, but just waiting for the queue from the sponsor as soon as the sponsor informed me that the giveaway is back on track i will let you guys know first all right again don't forget to subscribe to hate youtube channel as it means a lot to me and bopi production team that you guys show your support by subscribing to us i'll see you guys in the next video definitely and like i've always said guys remember to always do great be great and stay great hate sphere walking off